Take three. I want to welcome you back to another YouTube video, you beautiful hosers. And today, obviously, as you can read in the title, is my E3 predictions and wish list for Super Smash Bros. Now, this is a new entry to the series. I've never done any of these videos before, so we're going to jump into it and just get right into it. Now, my predictions for characters actually coming into Smash is the return of the Ice Climbers, and I'm also predicting that the entire Smash roster from Smash 4 will actually transfer over. And if you're wondering what Smash 4 was, the first one was for the N64, then the GameCube, then the Wii, then the Wii U. Wii U and 3DS is Smash 4. This will be the fifth installment into the series, and I'm also predicting that we're going to get some old-school N64 maps. I don't know why, but I just have that feeling. Because those maps actually sold really well. Actually, I'm saying maps. I should be saying stages. Uh, forgive me for that. But those stages sold extremely well during the 3DS portion and the Wii U portion of Smash 4. I think it's mainly to do with the nostalgia factor, mainly because that's what I grew up playing before Melee came out, but it's overall one of the best ideas that they can put in there because hardcore Smash fans enjoyed Smash 4 because of all the returning Melee characters. Now, if uh, the leak is to be taken at face value, we're going to see a lot of returning characters and new characters. Now, if I had to put my money on one predicted character that I'd personally want to put in Smash. It's a combination between Waluigi, because we don't have a whole lot of villains that are actually in the game, or King K. Rule, mainly because we don't have very many Donkey Kong characters. We've had, what, two playable Donkey Kong characters? And during that portion, I'd actually like to see an alternate skin of Diddy Kong as Dixie Kong. Now, to me, it would make most sense to do that rather than make her her own character. Considering the fact that in Donkey Kong Country games, she's more or less one of the support role characters along with Diddy Kong throughout many Donkey Kong games. Now, Diddy Kong is a force to be reckoned with himself. Mainly because of the peanut gun. Peanut gun is kind of overpowered if you really want to get into it because it can lob or it can shoot straight. Now the weird thing about that is King K. Rule would actually play more like a Bowser to be honest but if I was to see him use a side special I'd rather see him throw barrels like he did in Donkey Kong Country. Now that to me would actually be pretty amazing to have that or, you know, um, another thing that could happen is his um, special is a charge. Because in the original N64 game, he actually had a charge move that he would use towards the human player. That was playing as Donkey Kong, obviously, and you had to jump over him. Otherwise, you were going to take damage. That could easily be one of the other things to happen. Now, the last portion of my predicted characters list is I'm also predicting that they're going to bring in some other characters that have never actually been in a Smash Bros. game, considering this is a partnership between them and I believe Capcom, because I believe that's who owns the right to Ryu and half of the extras that they brought over onto 4 that everybody was like, that doesn't make any sense, why is this character in Smash? Yes, I'm looking right at you, Cloud Strife. <laughs> but, you know, it would actually be interesting to have such a diverse roster for once that's not just asymmetrical to Nintendo characters. I don't think that was a word I wanted to use, but oh well, we'll go with it. And it's kind of strange that they don't have a whole lot of maps that were actually orientated for those characters. So I want to see some more maps like that. And if anything, if they're going to bring back Shulk, which is a possibility, I would actually like to see them bring in Pyra. Now, I, for the love of God, I cannot actually remember his name if it was Rex. 
I believe it was Rex in uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Yeah, it had to have been Rex and Pyra. I'm 99% certain of that. But anyways, I would like to see those two actually in the game with Shulk. Mainly because he has some abilities that are actually looking like they could be really useful. Now, we all know how he has a uh, special dive, how he can float, that sort of thing. I was thinking, maybe when he uses his anchor shot, it could be more like Villager when he goes and uses his bowling ball. Maybe that, or he could end up like Link and have you pull him closer. Considering the fact that that was the main thing for healing at the very start of the game. Which is kind of interesting if you really think about it. Now, I, I don't expect them to have it as a healing factor because we don't want to end up with Robin all over again. Where they just grab you, they heal themselves, and then they bugger off. And then they're going, Fire! Wind! Get over there! I don't want you over here. That sort of thing. It was already bad enough with Rosalina and Luna doing the same thing. But overall, Rosalina and Luna versus the Ice Climbers, I could actually see the two of them being in the game. Now, Ice Climbers didn't actually make Smash 4 because of the fact the 3DS wouldn't have been able to handle it. Now, the Switch, however, is the rival to the PS3 and the Xbox 360, if I correct on that, let me know in the comments down below. But I believe those were the only characters that could actually rival them, to be honest. Mainly because Ice Climbers, if you know how to pick on the main one, that's all you need to do, because the side one doesn't really matter. That's what a lot of people found in Melee. If you get rid of the main one, side one just disappears. But however, the side one can act as a decoy, like Luna can. However, Luna can attack at any range that it pleases. However, the Ice Climbers can't do that. I don't actually know the Ice Climbers name, so I'm not going to dive that far in depth on it, to be completely honest. I've never played any other games. I've played Metroid. And the other rumor is, is Ridley's coming, but I, I don't think that's happening. If it does... Okay, that adds to my prediction of more villains, but uh, the character has been betrayed as being bigger than Bowser. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think a character that covers half of the friggin' screen should actually be there. Unless they, like, nerfed his size and they changed the name to, like, Baby Ridley. Kind of like they did with Bowser Jr., with the entire Mario Kart thing. That was actually cool. The transitions that he's able to do. But, however, let's jump into my wish list. Characters that I would love to see in Super Smash. Now, there's a lot of music that I've actually wanted added. So, there's always that. Because I have a feeling Breath of the Wild has so many good songs that could actually be incorporated into a Breath of the Wild map. However, if they were going to do that, I strongly suggest they do it on a mountaintop, mainly considering most characters in that game can't actually survive falls, Link especially. So I think it would be best to make a stage that's based on one of the mountains, if not one of the, um, I believe it was a volcano in the game. So make it one of those. Fall into the volcano, instant character death. Fall off of the map, instant character death. Mainly because they're not going to survive that fall. And the other thing was, as I still would love to see Banjo-Kazooie in the game. And if they can incorporate ukulele at the same time, that would be a match made in heaven. Because those two characters, even though they are counterparts of each other, and a lot of people claim, Oh, Banjo-Kazooie is already in the game. Look at the Duck Hunt skin. I'm sorry, but he poops eggs, he doesn't throw frisbees. And he doesn't poop out humans that go, pew! <laughs> and he doesn't kick the cam, so to speak. I don't know why they had a death, <laughs> a death reference in that game, but apparently kicking the can is actually a thing in it. <laughs> Whatever reason, I don't know. But <laughs> Kirby... 
is definitely going to be returning, but I would actually love to see some Kirby support characters actually get a main role. Now, King Diddy and Meta Knight themselves are actually really cool characters that are really well utilized in the game. Now, however, if they were to add another character, I wouldn't suggest Waddle Dee because that's um, not really a good idea considering the character mainly doesn't do the whole lot. But, like, uh, I believe the character's Fighter Joe, maybe, is the name? I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. I haven't played Kirby in forever. But I would love to see a character like that actually make it into the game as a playable character. And if they were going to do Little Mac again, I want to see some Little Mac villains that were actually in the Punch-Out! series. Now, as odd as that sounds, I think it would actually be pretty cool. Same with another Street Fighter character. Hmm. Who would we add if we've already got Ryu? I'm not thinking Akuma. I'm not thinking Ken. Only other character I could see happening is either M. Bison because of his teleport, which is kind of a Zelda thing to do, to be honest, or Chun Li. Or Chun Li. Ugh. I just butchered that name. But I would love to see one of those two characters in the game, if not both. Because, you know, Ryu can't exactly fight everybody the same way that he normally does in every other game. But having a character from one of his games would actually help. Now, if they were going to do other things to that character, I'd suggest a Ken skin and or an Akuma skin to Ryu. I mean, Ryu's already got the colors of Akuma that are already in the game. Uh, for 4, that is. For Smash 4, my bad. But it's kind of strange to actually see how these characters would interact with each other. Because I want to see something like um, their trailer videos where they have the characters interact. I would love to see that in a Smash game. It can just be any standardization, such as Fox meets Falco. He says, good luck, my friend, and Falco responds, you too. That would absolutely be great, just actually having the characters actually acknowledge who they're actually going up against. If you're doing multi-battles, uh, such as tag teams, do the same for that. Except for do what Dead or Alive does and just have one character's line play over if it's not actually two characters that are well known for being next to each other. Such as Mario and Sonic. Those two would actually work. Same with Mario and Bowser. Mario and Luigi. Mario and uh, Wario. And Mario and Peach. Mario and Rosalina. That sort of thing. That would actually be amazing. And it would be awesome to see the interaction between Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong rather, uh, rather than just having them just appear through crates or barrels, you know. Even if the social interaction between them is just pounding on their chest, that would be just absolutely great. Um, I think one of the taunts for Donkey Kong was actually the pounding on the chest. I know Bowser had a roar and Luigi's actually got an attack through his taunt, which actually makes him unique as a character. That's the reason why nobody wants to hang on the ledge when Luigi's there, let alone grab it, because if he does that, pretty much kicks your fingers right off of it and lets you fall to your death. He's a nice guy like that, you know? But overall, it's just one of the things that I want to see. I want to see a large, diverse cast of characters, as well as new and returning ones, I'd love to see uh, Snake and Wolf actually make it back into the game. But if I was going to put Wolf back in it, like Star Wolf, I would actually alter his character a little bit just so that he doesn't look like a Falco copy. He kind of was <laughs> in uh, Brawl, to be honest. He was like a combination hybrid character of the two, to be completely honest, which... I was fine with because he was my main, but it would be nice to actually see him incorporate other stuffs. Like he was in Star Fox Assault. Maybe give him a gun from there. 
that rapidly fired but overheats over time. That would actually be great. Or, you know what also be great? Seeing Crystal in Star Fox, being able to use that Staff Burst and use the Staff as a weapon. That would be amazing as well. Now, the rest of the characters from the games wouldn't really make any sense as fighting characters. Uh, mainly because Panther doesn't do a whole lot and Slippy just says, Dill Barrel! And the same with Peppy. So, <laughs> it's kind of give or take. I mean, we've already got Rob in the game, essentially, because he, he's got his own skin. And I'm pretty sure we all know who the computerized robot that I'm talking about is. And for whatever reason, one of the color palettes is Rob... Then it goes to him, and then I think the fun one was the Spongebob one, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> the Karen color palette. The, like, that was completely unexpected. But overall, Smash is going to probably have one of the largest rosters they've ever done, and if they were smart, they'd copy and paste all the stuff from Smash 4 over to the Switch, and then add upon it. Add some new stages, add some new characters, some new soundtracks. Obviously, Mario's already changed, and so has Link, because Link is wearing the Breath of the Wild tunic. So, obviously, incorporating stuff from those games would make perfect sense. But for us nostalgic people, for the sake of saying that, if they got rid of, I believe it's Toon Link... I would love to see either Young Link make a comeback or bring back, you know who I'm thinking of, the Twilight Princess Link. There's always been two Links in almost every of the games except for the original one, so why change the formula now? But I don't think adding another Ganondorf would actually overall impact a whole lot. Like I said, King K. Rules should actually be a character that's there. Mainly because he's got the weight advantage and the strength advantage like Bowser has. Except for he actually has moves that he could actually legitimately use that could be altered in some way. Banjo-Kazooie's side special could easily be he shoots eggs. And if he gets the Smash Ball... It could be just like doing the first-person events in the Banjo-Kazooie games where you're literally shooting eggs at the opponent. That would be great to see. Or, you know, uh, do the nuts and bolts thing and copy Star Fox and have them drop a tank down. I, I really don't know at that point in time. Ukulele, I haven't played the game, so I don't know exactly what they all do. Essentially the same thing as Banjo-Kazooie, so I guess what they could do is they could also alter the characters... So that they're different uh, palettes of, e char of both characters. Rather than copying them like I suggested doing. Because everybody was pissed with the Marth Lucina thing. Because they're kind of similar in a lot of ways. But their stats are different. One's faster than the other. Really when it boils down to it. But overall that is my predictions. And I want to know what you guys think. Do you think I'm way off? Do you think I'm off my rocker? And, of course, as always, I want you to hit the like button if you agree with my list. Hit the dislike button if you don't agree with my list. And then let me know down in the comments below what you would rather see. Now, this is just my list. Nothing's 100% uh, set in stone, so just take it with a grain of salt. Please and thank you. But as always, I hope you're having a fantastic 2018, and if you're not, I hope it gets better for you sooner rather than later. Peace out, and I will see you all in the next video, which is coincidentally tomorrow.